Hi everyone, so going straight in with my Piers soap and this little spoolie. I'm just brushing all my brow hairs up and setting them in place. And for brows, I'm going with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate. As always, just filling them in underneath, over the top and then filling through the brow. And then towards the front of the brow, I'm just pushing that product upwards. To set them in place, I'm taking my Maybelline Fibre Filler in Dark Brown just to add a nice bit of texture back into the brow. To carve out my brow today, I'm using my Maxilla Cover Up in NW15, just keeping that just sort of to carve out the underneath of the brow. And then I'm gonna go in and prime the whole eyelid with the Helen E Cosmetics Stage Primer. And I'm just gonna brush this on all over the lid using the same brush and just making sure those two are blended together nicely. Now I know people have um, been scared of the Helene primer because it's a bit dark but look at it compared to the NW15 select cover up it's not that much different at all. So I'm just buffing out those edges and making sure those two primers are blended together smoothly and all set down ready for eyeshadow. So I'm dipping into my Morphe 35B palette and just taking a mixture of those two pink shades all through the crease. I'm just patting that down and then very lightly buffing out the edge. So that's going to be my sort of dark crease colour. Then I'm going in with the orange from the same palette and just taking that just slightly higher than the pink to blend out the edge. And just to add a bit of warmth to the eye, same again, patting it down and then slightly buffing out the edge with the same brush. For my final transition shade, I'm taking Illamasqua Vapor just on this Zoeva 228 and I'm just lightly blending out that orange up to the top to create more of a sunset effect. Then I'm just going to re-deepen up my pink, my first shade of pink, with the same brush that I used before and then blending it out, making sure it's all seamless and smooth. Then I'm dipping into my Morphe 39A palette, I can't remember the name of this shadow but it's the dark pink in the top corner and I'm just using that to deepen up the crease ever so slightly more, keeping that quite low and then again just blending that out with the previous pink shade. And then I'm carving out the lid just using this little concealer brush on my MAC Select cover up and doing like a half cut crease making sure to keep it lower than that last dark pink shade that we used and then I'm just buffing off that edge with that very first pink shade that we that we used in the crease just to create a nice transition and I do like to buff the edge at an angle rather than straight on because I think it just creates a smoother transition to set the lids I'm using the peaches and cream mademoiselle pigment now this is a gorgeous sort of duo chromey pigment I'm just spritzing my brush with a bit of fix plus just to set that all down nicely Now I wanted something a little bit more sparkly so I'm going in with my NYX Glitter Glue and this Helen E Cosmetics Glitter in Pink Hologram. Now in person this glitter looked absolutely unreal. This camera just does not do it justice of how gorgeous this pink looked, this glitter. It had sort of reflex in it of all different colours, that's probably why it's called Hologram. But it just looked so gorgeous with the pink and orange eyeshadows. So I'm just popping on some lashes and pinching those together with my curlers. And just a little trick, if you have some fallout, glitter fallout on your face, if you take a little mascara wand, it picks the glitter up straight away. There's no messing around with face wipes or anything like that. To prime the face, I'm taking my Fenty Pro Filter Primer. And trying to pick my spot there. It's so disgusting. It ruined me life for a good week. For foundation, I'm mixing the Fenty foundation in shade 110 and the Milani um, Conceal foundation in vanilla, the old vanilla, before they changed the shade ranges. Now, I've been mixing Fenty with another foundation, but that's been what's causing the spot. So I decided to mix these two together for a bit of coverage today. So I'm just blending that out using my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Then 
Then to prime the under eye, I saw this little trick on Katie Hayes online tutorials. I'm using the Illamasqua skin base and just buffing that into the under eye with a little fluffy eyeshadow brush. This one didn't have a name because it's from the Morphe Eye Credible set. But I put a little bit too much on so I'm just dabbing away the excess and just bringing that right up to the lower lash line. Then I'm just filling in the under eye with the darkest pink shade first. Just on this little Zoeva 234 flat brush. Keeping that as close to the lash line as possible. Then I'm just blending that pink out with a touch of the orange shade, the first orange shade. Then for concealer, I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape, scraping the barrel with it, and just concealing all the regular split, all the regular spots, including that big mountain on my lip. And just buffing all that out using my Real Techniques sponge. And of course, as always, for them harder to reach areas, I'm going in with my little duo fibre brush. Then I'm just setting everything in place using my RCMA No Colour Powder. Just baking the under eye slightly and then just using the excess all over the face. For bronzer, I'm taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan and just bronzing up my cheeks so I don't look like Casper's best mate anymore. Just all the usual spots, the forehead, the cheekbones and the jawline. Then I'm going to carve out under my sort of contour area with this Morphe contour sponge and the same powder just to create a more of a sharp line. To deepen up my contour I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills original contour kit I'm taking that centre shade there just on this Morphe R13. Just adding a bit more depth, make it look like I've actually got some cheekbones. And then I'm just scooping the sides of my nose, just to add a bit more definition. Then I'm taking my Morphe 9N brush pa blush palette, sorry, and I'm just going a bit mental with it. And just applying a touch of blush. I'm just brushing away my beak using this Zoeva 126 brush, see how it's just sharpened up. For highlight, I'm taking my Sleek Solstice palette, and I've not had this for long, but I did include it in my 2017 faves. It's just a stunning high street palette, uh, high street suit, um, drugstore palette. It's so lovely. The colours just look incredible together, like I mix them all together, and I'm using that as an inner corner highlight as well. So I'm just popping on some mascara on my bottom lashes. And then for lips, I'm taking my collection Velvet Kiss uh, Liquid Lipstick in Caramel. Just this nice matte sort of dark nude shade. And then for a little bit of gloss on top, I'm taking the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in Plum Sup, I want to say. It's just one of the ones you get in the little gift set. And then to set everything in place, I'm taking my Mario Badescu Spray with Rose Water. And that's the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell notification. But thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.